Hello and welcome to Florence, or more precisely, Kazita Island. I am Unknown to All, and today I'll be showing you a few tips and tricks about gardening. Before you begin your gardening adventure, there are a few things to think about, which hopefully after this video you will have a rough idea on what they are and how to implement them. To start off, let's talk about grid versus non-grid planting. To change between them, you will need to go into your settings on the pause menu. It will be marked grid placement. If there's a check mark, it is on. If you want to look more uniform when you plant, you can go with grid planting. However, if you want to make a pattern or plant in a more precise way, I would say go with non-grid planting. When planning or even planting the garden, there is one other factor you need to keep in mind, and that is your energy level. It does take energy to plant and water your crops, although it does not take energy when harvesting. When planting and planting, remember that if a plot is not watered within a few days, it will disappear. Also, if you want to make your garden look more full, you can plant in the same plot that you have something else. To plant in the same plot, you will have to wait for your crop to get to the harvest stage or in regards to a tree, the second stage. Basically, what you're looking for is the stage where you no longer have to water. Once you're at that stage, you will have an option to plant, but make sure you hit the right key. Otherwise, you're going to harvest your crop and then you'll have to start all over. To help with energy issues, you can plant in stages or use sprinklers. Sprinklers are amazing when it comes to gardening because they do save you energy and they also save you a step. There are four different sprinklers in the game, stone, copper, silver, and gold. Two of those will only water one plot or planter box and those are the copper and stone sprinklers. The silver sprinkler will water two plots or planter boxes. However, if you squeeze your plots or boxes closer together, you could possibly get four. The gold sprinkler will get you your most plots or boxes watered, and depending on the configuration that you made, you could get four or more watered. Since we're talking about four or more, let's talk about the seed maker and seed bundler. The seed maker is an item you get after a few quests with Sammy. It is also a reward from one of the seasonal quests from Sadie, and you can also find it in the summer match game. To use the seed maker, all you need to do is just place a flower or vegetable in it. The regular seed maker does not take the fruit from the fruit trees. There is a separate seed maker for that. The seed maker will give you between one and two seeds in return. The reason to use the seed maker is to help you with the seed bundler. The seed bundler takes one bag of fertilizer and four seed packets to make one bundled seed packet. The way to tell the difference is this, the bundled seed packet will have a plus on the picture. I recommend using bundled seeds to the regular ones due to they will give you a higher yield. They grow bigger than normal. You are guaranteed a seed packet for each plot harvested and there is also a chance to get a mystery seed box from the bundled crops. When using the bundled seeds, you do not have to use fertilizer before planting. There's already fertilizer mixed in with the seed. Which brings us to fertilizer. There are multiple ways to get fertilizer in this game. You can craft it from your crafting menu, which is only a single fertilizer. You can get it from a skunk once you tame them. It is only a chance, but you can still get fertilizer from the skunk. Or you can use the fertilizer bin. I have been asked over and over how to use the fertilizer bin. To use the bin, you will need a minimum of five poop and two wheat for it to work. And it will result in five fertilizer. If you have less wheat or poop, it will not work. What I usually do is just put a stack of 50 wheat and a stack of 50 poop in it. That way I only add stacks of 50 poop once I get the 50 fertilizer. And I usually get around about 250 fertilizer until I run out of wheat. Also make sure that one of these slots are open in the bin so you can receive your fertilizer. If you fill all three uh, slots up, you will not get any fertilizer. That's all my tips and tricks for today. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button so you won't miss the next or any of my future videos. Until then.